Welcome to my 100th video, which is quite something, <laughs> which is why I made that special little intro for it. Um, today we should be looking at something I was hoping would get requested, and I think it really did get asked quite a lot by. And that is the Millennium Vulcan. Probably the most iconic ship out there. So uh, on the outside, as you can see, it's nice detailing. Most of it's stickers. So that's the way they rolled back then. Slightly yellow, slightly does, because I used to play with it so much. <laughs> so yeah, it's got a rotating gun on top. So uh, the dish is also movable. It's very dusty, but it's movable. <laughs> and uh, it has four buttons, just here I think they are. Yep, right there. Uh, each one has a different sound. Some come with light, most of them do. So that's that one. I'm not entirely sure what that is. So if anybody knows, let me know, because I don't. And then finally... That little light up there. Which is also on the bottom. So very awesome. But other than that, not a lot else going on outside. It does, however, have a uh, landing gear. Like so. Which all push in. And there's this one here, which is basically a handle for you. Uh, they all push in, unlike the new one, which you have to take the legs off, which I think is really crap. It also has this bit. Hang on. It's a bit old. Give it time. <laughs> there we go. And then your figures can climb up there. Well, they could do, but unfortunately the figures nowadays are made a bit bigger than what they used to be, so it doesn't quite fit up there that well. So there's that. Now I'm going to put this down and we shall show you the inside. I shall get some figures to show you how it all sits inside. So be back. Hey guys, set. so welcome back. Uh, I've got it all set up now. So there's the well, bottom. Uh, in the first bit we have Han Solo. Now I would have stuck Chewbacca in there, but unfortunately due to the sizes, I um, haven't. Uh, you can't actually fit in there with him. It's not enough space because the it's blocked by a little piece of plastic down there. So there's that. You can see the com the console isn't like greatly detailed, but it isn't too bad. Uh, here's the bit that goes on top. See, it's just kept on by this little plug here and this little bit at the back, which clicks into that. Uh, the next bit came with this panel. It just simply pulls off. Inside this bit's greatly detailed I've always thought since I was a kid see where that's where you walk to get to Han Solo's bit got all of this I'll take the figures out in a minute and I'll show you all the rest so as you can see they're all in here they all have little peg holes and that this is actually the bit where you put all your figures in to hide but like I said I lost that bit and the chair back there so unfortunate but yeah I've still got the like little chess table thing so that's quite cool. And as you can see, these two great big bits here stick out, which is where the landing gear folds into. But not too big an issue. So there's that. I should take the figures out now. We'll show you the back. Now, like I said, the legs on these are a bit weak, so it might go horribly wrong and squeak and whatnot. So apologies about that. So you can see there's all that. Very nicely detailed. There's another, uh, I think that's an escape port or something. If we rotate this, you can see when you rotate the top bit here, the chair moves with it. And this little bit of plastic, I don't know if you can see it. This little bit of plastic that basically makes that clacking noise. Uh, at the back there, you can't see it very well, but there's actually a planet, and next to it is a uh, Superstar Destroyer. That's really cool. 
nice they added that, didn't have to. So yeah, that's basically this ship. Oh, and the engines at the back here, stickers as well. <laughs> Everything back then was stickers. There was nothing else but stickers. So yeah, a really awesome ship. I'm glad I got this as a kid. I mean, the new version looks cool, but this is always going to be the original. So, uh, wait if you have, yeah, it seems to be fairly sturdy at the moment, which is a surprise. I thought it would collapse. That's actually where the batteries go in there. Uh, it took me ages to work out how to do it. There's actually a little tab here that you basically pull it and it moves out. So yeah, that is the review guys. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this because I just did because this is all part of my childhood. This is back in the days. So, one last look at it. Hope you enjoyed that review guys. Definitely if you find it on eBay or out, which I think there's plenty of now, definitely pick it up because you'll regret not. So yeah, there it is. Take it or leave it, and I shall see you all in a couple of weeks' time, because I'm going on holiday. I kind of noticed, guys, I was about to upload this, that I'd forgot to show you the actual landing gear put away, and I didn't want to miss anything off this, because it's old. <laughs> so, get ready for the high-pitched squeak, because it is old. First one gets put away like so. And then these two... Like so. So you can see it's fairly... That one has kind of a loose tendency, but as you can see, it's fairly flat. You can't really tell they're there. Nicely done, nicely done. So, yeah, now we're ready to fly around the house. Uh, I'll show you it alongside the uh, original X-Wing, which unfortunately, like I said, has bits missing. But, that's it. Like so. Look, just lights are on top. Oops. See that? It's actually quite a lot smaller than that. It's almost in scale. And then um, I'll show you it alongside the uh, new X-Wing. Just give me a sec. So as you can see, the X-Wing is no longer in scale with the Millennium Falcon at all. <laughs> it's well out of scale. So, so as you can see, it's... Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is still a little bit bigger, but only just. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that review, guys. Like I said, I am on holiday uh, next week, so there won't be any new videos put up. This Friday should be my brother. If all goes well, he's usually busy, and it, yeah. <laughs> anyway, if all goes well, he should do it, and then um, there should be a week without me. Woohoo! <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed my 100th video, and I shall speak to you all later.